Success has everything to do with your willingness to risk. R-I-S-K, four letter word in the Christian life. Yeah, four letters. <laughs> it's not a cuss word. Risk has everything to do with whether or not you're successful as a Christian. John Piper, one of my favorite pastors, wrote a book called Risk is Right. Risk is Right. You think about the Christians who've had such a big influence on you. You think about the people who are world changers. You think in the scripture, all of the saints, all of the people who we read their stories to our children, those are the men, those are the women who risked it. They were willing to risk. Think about David and Goliath. The thing about risk is you don't know what's gonna happen. David and Goliath, when you, know, you had the giant there, Goliath, I'm gonna eat you, get in my belly. Oh wait, no, that's Shrek. But anyway, you had David there, he goes, there's a big guy, and I don't, you know, God didn't come to David and say, David, if you'll take your little slingshot, put a little rock in there, sling it around just like this, it, when you release it, it's gonna go and hit the giant directly in the head so that it knocks him out, and you can run over there and chop his head off. But all you gotta do is, do, okay, God did not have that conversation with David. What David saw was a challenge and he had a conviction, a calling, that God has called me to address this challenge and so I'm gonna risk everything that I have this moment for the sake of what God is trying to do in the world. He's trying to deliver Israel. I'm gonna be a part of that, I'm gonna risk it. I mean, you just go through uh, Abraham and Isaac, uh, Queen Esther took a risk, um, the Apostle Paul who wrote half the New Testament Everything he did in life was a risk. The cities weren't safe. Um, the Christians weren't safe. Okay, the Apostle Paul, the Christians were trying to kill him just as much as the Pharisees because they didn't trust him to be a true Christian convert. Everything the Apostle Paul did was about taking risks for the sake of the gospel. You read through the book of 2 Corinthians, the whole book of 2 Corinthians is the Apostle Paul saying, what I'm doing is true success, even though it doesn't look that way, even though it looks like I'm suffering, even though it looks like God's against me, even though it looks like my life is full of pain and, and bad things happening to me, this is success because I'm risking everything that I have for the sake of the kingdom. And he could say at the end of his life, I have fought the good fight, I've finished the race, I've kept the faith, I was successful. Why, because I made a lot of money? No, because I risked it. I risked everything. You think about the parable, what is, the two, what, is, what is it that the two servants have in common? It's not the amount of money, right? Uh, they have different amounts of money. So if it's not that, then that means success as a Christian isn't reaching some kind of financial threshold. It's not what our culture says of being able to uh, retire and live comfortably after your retirement without having, uh, without having to work. It, it's not a, about a financial threshold. It has everything to do with risking everything that you have, investing that for the sake of everything that God's trying to do in the world. That's what the two servants have in common. That's why they were commended. Risk is right. You read through the scriptures, risk is right. The early church, the reason they were able to turn the world upside down is because they were willing to take risks.